Welcome to Prophecy Vials Briefing. I'm Pastor Joey Rogers. We're glad that you've joined us today. I hope that you will register for the upcoming Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference happening right here at Pace Assembly. There'll be more information at the close of the briefing today, so I want you to sign up right away and be a part of this great conference. I believe it will be eye-opening and certainly spiritually uplifting. Let you know that Jesus Christ has a plan and a hope for our lives, and that is in His return. But right now, let me direct your attention back to the subject that we were talking with you about last week concerning strong delusion. It is happening around us and among us, so much so that to try to get into conversation with someone who is fully committed to a lie is virtually impossible. The Holy Spirit is the only one who can deal with their hearts, there's no doubt, and our prayers will matter. But to have a toe-on-toe discussion with them uh, when they're so committed to uh, the false narrative, the wrong, the uh, lie that they have committed themselves to, even in the face of truth, many, many will deny what truth is. That's the reason why in the book of 2 Thessalonians, it explains it very well. Because we're living in a society where you must affirm the transgendered uh, agenda, the LGBT agenda, uh, the misinformation, Uh, that is being propagated, which is delusion. Uh, The AI uh, at its core is a delusion. It is a false, a facade that's taking place, and yet it is being propagated greatly. The climate change and government deception and delusion, we're seeing it today with the rise of the conversation about UFOs and alien beings and spirituality. There's never been more a more spiritual uh, society that we're in, but without God. And just the confusion around the propaganda media that is going where they only put up what, you, what they want you to hear. My friends, that's the reason why you've got to dig into the Word of God and be a Berean of the Word of God and study the Word of God to know what truth is uh, in the time we're in and then be guided by the Holy Spirit who will lead you and guide you into all truth, the Bible says. 2 Thessalonians speaks to us about this strong delusion. We shared a little bit with you last week that God will actually send strong delusion in the last days for those that will embrace uh, the faults, the uh, deception, and not, not love the truth of God's Word. They will believe a lie, and then God will turn them over, according to the book of Romans, according to the book of 2 Thessalonians, to believe that lie and be uh, at a place where they are deluded into a state of delusion where their mind is confused. But it's more than just a mind confused. According to the scripture and based upon uh, the definition of delusion that you find in the Word of God, it is a person who is not just uh, having confusion of the mind, but they are actually committed and addicted to the principle that is wrong, to the thought, to the mindset of the false or the lie. We shared with you some things last week concerning strong delusion taking place during the time of the Antichrist rise and that God would allow that to take place upon people who would not believe the truth and that that strong delusion would come when people are rebelling against God and uh, those that would be people who will be fooled during the time of this delusion by the false miracles and false wonders Uh, that the Antichrist and Satan himself would bring. And we're seeing that uh, perpetuate itself even now, preparing the way for the kingdom uh, or the government of the Antichrist. But I want to show you today about the delusion that is increasing and how it actually starts in the life of an individual. And I don't care if you're a Christian or not. You need to understand that the love of truth is what causes you to be made free by the fact that you will trust and believe what Jesus Christ said and who He is. Here's how it starts. Satan is the master deceiver, the Bible says. He uses deception in the last days. Jesus said in Matthew 24 uh, that the sign would be uh, deception. He said to His disciples, take heed that you be not deceived. How does that start? Well, it starts by the deceiver, Satan, darkening the minds of people. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 says that the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelieving so that they cannot see the light of the glorious gospel. This blindness is not necessarily a physical blindness, but more so the spiritual blindness when Satan keeps the lights off. 
The other night at my home, uh, we were, my wife and I were there in the living room and suddenly the complete power went out for a period of time. It was darkness all around us. We waited for about two minutes and then the lights came back on. It's the same thing. We find a whole generation groping in the darkness and the only light that can come is when a believer will turn the light on and that light is none other than Jesus Christ. He said he is the light of the world. So this uh, darkening of the mind leads to the distraction uh, of your desire for God. And this is what's happening today, both in the life of believers and unbelievers. You're not really sinful, the devil says, but he sends distractions to you uh, as a viable weapon. That is, uh, your job takes more precedent than God does. Your money, the pursuit of it, the love of it. Maybe it's sports or your relationships or uh, your social issues that you're involved in, your uh, popularity in the community, the debates that go on that keep you away from the things of God or maybe even philosophies or even debates of theology, whatever that it may be. These are distractions in the time that we're in right now. I think one of the distractions that's come up recently has been the distraction of, of uh, the focus on UFOs. If it's true, then let the government reveal it. Otherwise, don't be distracted by it. I feel like that it could be the answer the world gives to the uh, explanation of the rapture of the church, that suddenly the ET phone home syndrome took place and millions are missing on this planet. Whatever that it may be, I can assure you of this, that the truth of God will prevail. And because that it is a time of great distraction around us, when we are distracted, Satan, the Bible says, comes in in Mark chapter 4 and verse 15 and steals the seed like a nasty bird, distracting us from the Word of God, distracting us from the things of God. People that one time had a love for the Lord now lose interest in the things of God and they are distracted and the seed of God's Word, the desire to worship God, they become unfruitful, they fall away, they apostatize as the Bible says. When that takes place, when we get distracted, the Bible says in Mark there that the thorns grow up and choke out the Word of God. Distractions. I'm telling you it's one of the major factors right now where people don't just have time for God in their busy schedule anymore. They've got other things they need to do. It's a tactic of delusion in these last days. Here's the third thing. It is the deceiving of the heart. First, the blinding, uh, the, the darkening of the mind. Secondly, the distracting of your life. And thirdly, the deceiving of your heart. The subtle deceptions of Satan and even blatant lies are out there. Uh, the truth uh, is right in front of us and yet we won't embrace it because we've been deceived by the deceiver. In fact, the book of Revelation 12 and 9 says that he is, Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. We know deception will increase in the last days, Jesus said in Matthew 24. He said that even nations would be deceived. Look at individuals who are deceived by the drugs that they're taking, the alcohol they consume, the friends that they are connected to. The Word of God said in 2 Corinthians that Satan comes as an angel of light, deceiving. Listen, without the mind of God, you are set up for deception. So what takes place? The darkening of the mind, the distraction of an individual, the deception of the heart, and then finally comes the delusion. The delusion of truth. Satan is deluding truth right now just like he did in the very beginning. What is the delusion taking place there? It is the questioning of God's Word. And it happened in the very beginning in the book of Genesis. How does that happen today? Well, let's modify God's Word. Let's rewrite God's Word as China is doing right now. Let's reimagine God's Word somehow. Well, what are, we are, what are we supposed to reimagine? What are we supposed to change it to? Well, let's change it uh, from what God said in human sexuality to what man wants, same-sex marriage. Uh, let's change human identity from a, a male and a female to what we want it to be, our own pronoun. Or the sanctity of life that we can take life in the womb and kill uh, the unborn child by the masses. Or that we'll change the word of God about the future, that there is no God, there is no rapture. 
or maybe even about the people, deluded about the people, that you're just a number on this planet. You're not an individual created in the likeness and image of God. Ladies and gentlemen, all of these things are being propagated today, and it is all signs of the return of Jesus Christ and the entrance of the Antichrist. You only in, uh, counteract delusion with truth, pure truth. In Psalm 19, the Bible says the word is uh, the word of the Lord is perfect, con converting the soul. He goes on to tell us there what the word of God is like and how important that the word of God is to us today. So I want to encourage you uh, as we close out this Prophecy Files briefing today with a few safeguards for the last days. Here they are. First of all, let humility be around our life. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. One of the acts of delusion is to raise up pride in our life to such a degree that we think we're the end all and that God is nothing. Second, receive the love of the truth according to 2 Thessalonians 2. It means having a passionate commitment to the truth of God's word inside of our life and not one thing superseding God's word. Thirdly, we need to have a godly reverence and fear of God. It is the beginning of wisdom, the Bible says. When man turns to human ingenuity, human philosophies, human knowledge, without God, ladies and gentlemen, is a delusion. That's what God is saying in this strong delusion that is coming upon the world where there is no fear of God. That's the reason why we must fear the Lord. For it is, the Bible says, the beginning of wisdom. Fourthly, here's a safeguard for you. Surrender to the central message of the cross. When you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe in what his finished work is there on the cross, you can know beyond the shadow of any doubt that that is the place of truth. Satan recognizes the cross of Calvary as his finished place. Where Jesus said it is finished, he placed truth at the very forefront. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, Paul says, I don't want to know nothing among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. The central message and protection for our lives, a safeguard for our lives. I encourage you to take this word today and strengthen yourself against the strong delusion that is coming upon our land. It is a satanic tactic in the last days. But we have the truth. And Jesus said, that truth shall make you free. I want to encourage you to register right away for the Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference right here at Pace Assembly. You will not want to miss it. Do it today. Till the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hello, this is Pastor Joey Rogers, and I want to give you a special invitation to join me for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference. This Bible Prophecy Conference is going to be filled with information concerning the end times and how you can be prepared for the imminent return of Jesus Christ. This year, I'll welcome my special guest, Jeff Kenley, Pastor Shane Warren, William Federer, and keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee. I want you to join me for this year's Prophecy Files Conference. Registration is available online at paceassembly.org and lunch will be provided for a cost of $10. We look forward to seeing you right here at Pace Assembly on September the 16th and 17th for this year's Prophecy Files Conference.